Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. I am continuing with our upgrading our power gen. I'll show it in a second, but I just added a second UV energy hatch to our Vulcanus. Um, I'll probably add more. But I wanted to speed it up a little bit. Uh, we are producing a bunch of flour. And you also noticed I am producing black plutonium. Because um, I wanted to check out possibly upgrading our turbines. Um, I think the... The next big one that we're probably going to do is Cosmic Neutronium. We're almost there, but not quite, I think. Um, maybe like this one. I mean, we can go like absolutely crazy. We don't even produce 19,000 liters. Actually, actually, I think we do produce 19,000 or just like right around 19,000. Uh, with a full, with our, this thing at full, full steam. And that's just one of these. I can always add like more if I want. This is just purely just this one. Um, and that is just helium plasma. I could even like upgrade our, the plasma. Um, so there is so much we can expand on our power. So yeah. As we can see, it is 800 to like 190 or 1.97, the super critical. But if we do like tin plasma, thirteen million to about double, and you get like ten times the amount of super critical steam. As we can see, uh, it goes through a lot. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Like I said, I kind of want to... We'll probably do this at some point. I believe tin, we can go through a bit of a process and then we can convert it back into the silver. So that's kind of like its own cool little thing. Basically, you mix silver with the helium-3, which we pump, get tin plasma, send it through the extreme hand exchanger. We get our molten tin, and I think it's tin dust. We can turn it back into... Silver with the molecular transformer multi-block. So that could be kind of like a fun, you know, its own fun little process, I think. Um, I'm not sure what like the best plasma is. Helium is just like super, super easy to make. It literally deuterium and helium. We could even be pumping this. I just don't, I have this set up, so it's just, that's what we use. Um, but we could just pump it. But uh, yeah, some of the other plasmas are just, they're just way more efficient at producing the supercritical steam, which I am having, I don't know, I really like steam. I think steam is cool. I know we could just shove this stuff in a plasma turbine, basically just produce it from the fusion reactor, send it into a plasma turbine, get power, easy peasy, but I don't know, I think it's just so fun sending it through a exchanger anyway uh so what i was thinking is maybe expanding to black plutonium uh, we do use this one we're going to produce 1.4 million it's basically the optimal gas flow times 100 so 1.476 million we would produce from one turbine um with our uv dynamo that's about the max we can do at the moment, um, we would have to upgrade our our dynamo if we wanted to. Where is just the yeah? We would have to upgrade to like the buffered, but we don't have this one yet. Um, so that is kind of a big. Uh, that's like the next energy hatch that we're gonna have to work towards. So. This part, 
we have all those. The next tier of components is a thing. Are these just the, nope. <laughs> yep, we uh, for sure need to uh, upgrading, but uh, that is pretty typical. We've done that quite a few times. All right, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do the black plutonium, get a bit more power out of our turbines. I could even throw a couple on there. And uh, I will probably expand this as well. Maybe add a second one kind of thing. I don't know, just kind of thinking out loud. Uh, but I did, like I said, upgraded the the lasers that we started last episode so obviously our power comes out here and then we got lasers going along and then i also sent lasers farther down and into another transformer now i know we are losing um eu per tick the transformer use a little bit and then you lose a little bit with the target this but uh I just think that is, one, it's like pretty cool, and two, um, it's going to be much, much easier to upgrade. Um, for the time being, I think we're okay with the IV target hatches, but if you want to start getting like crazy amounts of power, we're going to want to upgrade them uh, so we aren't losing as much EU per tick. You lose one EU per tick per amp. So this one we are losing a thousand. If we did the the ZPM one, which is the same amount of power, we'd only be losing sixty four U per tick. But that at this point, like that is just that's like a minuscule amount. I know it's gonna it will add up, you know, if we chain these over and over and over again. But uh, I think for the time being, we're okay with those. And then. Uh, Obviously, I have upgraded this to 16 amps of UV power. Okay, we are back. Uh, I have been kind of doing a little bit of looking around, seeing what I want to progress here. Uh, we haven't progressed in a while. And because uh, I spent so much time on bees and I found some bees that I'm going to want to get. And uh, I will just work on that as I am doing other things. And I have noticed. Yeah, like oops, we got maintenance problems here. Just little things all around the base that. I've gotten turned off when I've been messing with power and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to, like I said, get all this stuff moved to its own areas i just am being putting this off uh, because i do need to expand this i also need to add more recipes underneath but that is a pretty big undertaking i think i can just hmm i don't know I was thinking, I'm like, can I expand this to a block, just a regular interface instead of the small one? But then I'm like, I mean, I could, and then just have it the arrow paint pointing, but yeah, I don't know. Would that... I don't know. I just think like the only way we could do that is to add another interface, and I feel like that would clog that up. We may actually just need to craft up a whole new assembly line, which, to be honest, isn't the end of the world um, at this point. Everything's automated. It is not too bad. Um, but I have been looking at what we're going to need to progress, and I think... Um, we want to start maybe looking at wetware, and there are some quests that I'm going to just do here. One of them is this advanced circuit assembler. 
I don't have a CPM. Oh, did this turn off? Oh, this is turned off. Gotta be careful with this. Otherwise, we'll... We'll lose items. Although that is pretty quick. Um, yeah, so I think the next tier of circuits is kind of what we need to do. Um, so we got our wetware circuits. We also need to get into quantum computers and research computers for the higher tier uh, scanning that we're going to need to do. For example, if we want to do, I can't remember what it was, UHV dynamo of some sort. Um, yeah. So this requires the next year of pumps, but that actually needs the research station to learn. So this is pretty laid out pretty well. So I'm going to get the advanced circuit assembler and probably going to have to get a bacterial vat. I'm going to get the rest of the UV components that we need. Um, we don't actually need, yeah, we actually don't need that. Which is actually pretty cool. It's just a checkbox since it's not making us craft it up. But uh, yeah, we still haven't got that. And then we also are going to need cosmic neutronium is something you need for the next tier. Like new regular neutronium is... The component for UV. So these are like neutronium. The next tier up, which is UHV, use cosmic neutronium is the the part that it needs. We do have enough power, but yeah, we're gonna have to get that. So I'm thinking, yeah, wetware circuits. Now there is also two ways to go about getting these. You can either do it this route which is the normal just foil and iron chloride that we do for everything or we could go to the pcb factory which is way more efficient that's a one-to-one -one. this requires pumps and sensors and circuits you do get 16 from that but if we do that you skip all that part um, but this is its own huge thing as well but we are we are at the point where we can actually craft this up but uh yeah i think getting a new uh i'm always down for new multi-blocks so uh let me get some of these quests and we will figure out which we're gonna do first today either the uh, this stuff we need growth medium or are we going to go research station because we're going to need that as well so i am thinking uh we are going to i want to do the pb or pcb fact i'm going to call it pbc like 80 million times pcb factory um I totally want to get this. We're here. ZPM can totally craft this up, uh, except for this. We need to scan a wetware life support circuit board for that. Um, so we are going to have to go the basic route first. Um, but I figured let's go ahead and at least get this going. Now, the quest over here starts right here but it required as we can see it says requires required the bacterial vat and it also required this bio lab which we never did in hv um so yeah um also i made some polystyrene i haven't automated it yet i just did a stack of things manually it was just ethylene and benzene basically and oxygen so super easy to craft up manually and uh, i think we're gonna need this to create the i don't remember this like being um 
What am I trying to say? I don't remember this being like automated at all, this single block biolab. I remember using it a couple times, but it was totally just manual. So we'll throw this down. I just did LUV. I figured that was easiest to just throw it in this line. I love how I got rid of all the other HV machines and now they've been replaced by LUV ones. Anyway, we got our biolab. I believe those go in there. I, I can't really remember. Um, uh, I think we do whatever petri dish we want. We have to mix it with that. Now, I'm not, not sure what the... Yeah, the sterilized thing. Ah, there is the sterilized. And then sterilized goes in there. Yes. All right. So that has to apparently go in an autoclave with chlorine, ethanol, methanol, or ammonia. Chlorine's probably the easiest. Again, probably just do this manually. I think we only need like the one type of Petri dish and then that just kind of like works. I don't think it gets like consumed. I mean, that is 100% enough. All right, so this is our autoclave. There we go. I'll probably just. You know, it's easier if we. Doing that. Wait, so I'm just gonna. Whoop. That was almost the wrong one. Just void that chlorine. We should have the sterilized. There we go. So there is that quest. You know what? I'm going to take more Petri dishes just in case. These are a little bit more annoying to craft up. So, although we can just get them from, we don't have to do polystyrene. We could just get it from. ETFE. All right, so that was that little thing. Now we got our bacterial multi block. If I can find it. There it is. Now that has opened. Uh, it was locked behind the biolab. So a unique multi block with its own recipes. Um, I do remember this being kind of annoying. So, uh, I guess let me craft this up. Now we need special glass. I do remember that. I don't think we put the fluid in the middle. I, I feel like that... If I remember correctly, that that just like when you filled one of the hatches, it like filled up. But uh, I guess let me craft this up. Just stainless steel borosilicate, a biofluid block. I don't know. I'm gonna have to remember. It's been been a long time. But I mean, this is super super easy. Okay, I think I got all the parts for the multi block. But before we can use that, we are gonna have to get cultures which we need the biolab for now i'm going to need some raw growth catalyst medium so to get that uh, we can't use the bacterial vat yet we're gonna have to use oh wait no we do use the bacterial vat for that but i need to get a petri dish and in order to do that we use the Bio lab, but I need bacteria for that. <laughs> and uh, you could either use a bacterial vat, but we can't do that because we don't have the petri dish. So we have to do it in a brewing machine. Um, and it, for that, I need growth medium and bio chaff. So this is a bit of a journey. But I think once we get the petri dish, we can just craft it up in the bacterial vat. Is 
what I rem if we need it again, we can just do biochaff directly in the bacterial vat for bacteria if we need it. Uh, so first thing we have to do is this growth medium in a brewing machine, which is just water and this growth medium. The bacterial vat, as we can see, is usually more efficient uh, recipes. Um, we are probably going to have to automate a bunch of this stuff uh, moving forward. Guess we'll just do this. So I do have sugar. I do have bone. I think wood ash is just smelting a sapling, which we can set up. Spruce. Yeah, we have tons of spruce. And if needed, I can always just throw a... a thing in my... Oh my goodness, what is it called? The That thing right over there. <laughs> the greenhouse. I could just throw a spruce sapling in there or bonsai or whatever. Okay, so... That... Now, did I put water? Holy, could have done that, but I think there's water over here, right? Distilled water? Regular water. I couldn't remember what... Uh, it's for the Fluix crystals, I think. Uh, so, growth will be this one. So, two. There we go. That's that was overly complicated to mix two. I'm gonna have to throw a, another pattern thing. If I remember, I'll throw it in my thing, but I'll probably forget. Alright, so growth medium. I don't know. Hundred. And then mulch is its own thing. <laughs> uh, just finding the the best way to go about doing this stuff. Hmm. I could actually just do that in the chemical bath. Probably the easiest way to go about doing it. Might as well. Um, I think that should be set up to do that. Actually, let's, before we, oh, yeah, it just crafted it up. All right, cool. So we do have that. Uh, one minor thing is I don't have, to get the bio chaff, we need to send a Flat mass through a centrifuge. I actually don't have a easy crafting centrifuge. I got rid of my single block. And this is usually like all the farm stuff. Usually I just chuck, I threw plant mass in there just to use it, but I'm like, I, do we? Yeah, I don't actually have a, there's no actual, like, on-demand crafting with that. It doesn't really belong there, to be honest. That should probably be over by the farm. Maybe I'll craft up another one. Uh, what I can do, though, is just craft up, like, a hundred of those. If we need plant balls, I can always craft up. A bunch of those as well. That's a compressor recipe. There's plant mass. It'll go automatically through the thing. We should get a bunch of bio chef. So there's our bio chef that we might need. All right. So growth medium. What did I say I wanted? 100. All right. And then bones we are getting. I can get easily from the farm. With. I don't remember the name of that. What was it? The meat, meat rose or something like that? I can't remember which seed it was. All right, but we are getting our growth medium. Cool. Uh, let's do...
like oh, there it is oh oh it's that's 4k i didn't realize that was <laughs> that's actually 4 million buckets yeah i didn't see the k um we'll just do this so brewery growth medium there we go so we got that and then we got our growth medium growth medium needs to go back in the brewing machine and then we need the bio chaff if we need to fully automate this obviously i will i'm just kind of doing it manually while we get this kind of sorted out all right so there is that we put that back in there we throw that in there thankfully it is a relatively quick recipe because we have the elite brewery thing all right so there is our bacteria there is actually a quest for it but it is optional but i guess we might as well do it while we are here all right so i think that goes in there correct I'm wrong. Oh well. So we need I want the petri dish is basically what I'm trying to get, right? Is that what I wanted? All right. So obviously there is more efficient recipes that does need a clean room. I don't have it set up in a clean room. We'll just do it this way. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, it did. So now we have our petri dish with a culture. Is that gonna? No, that's a different one. That lets us produce bacteria. I guess I didn't need to do it. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, I'm getting myself confused here. Um, all right, so this one. Hold on. So this raw growth. Did I do the wrong one? I did. No, I needed this one. Which the only way to get that is an egg with bacteria. And that is a 15%. Well, shoot. I mean, maybe we'll get it right away. Where do I have all my... I don't have any eggs. Well, we run into a bit of an issue. Well, we got uh, bees to the rescue. Crafted up a poultry princess. It was just two breeds away from... What I need to do. So I got skulking, poultry, easy peasy, and uh, that has got us a whole bunch of eggs. I might need some more. Um, and also, you may notice some um, <laughs> chickens around the base. Apparently, it. Ha I didn't even look at the stats on the thing at all. I just used the thing to breed it up. Uh, apparently, it spawns chickens. I'm hoping 64 eggs will be enough to get this, though. Isn't that... Ah, it needs a clean room. I'm trying to avoid that. Not the end of the world, though. I guess I could put the brewer in here as well if I wanted. Actually, this kind of works out because that's actually... This is already LUV. Okay, so we'll get that. 
that'll get us the oval over evolutionists and then we can put that in the bacterial vat so i need to get that crafted up we have calcium we have salt i do need mints which uh we are getting we were getting chicken nuggets from those bees but that's only a tiny though um i'm sure i can get yeah like chicken or something like that I'm like, this could be a thing. I have Mysterious, I have Skulking. I can actually craft that up. Okay, I figured let's just go ahead and... Use the bacterial vat to produce more bacteria, because we're going to need a whole bunch of it to get this Petri dish that we need. Um, so, I've gone ahead and formed up the vat, uh, as expected. Uh, it's just a very basic hollow multi-block with a glass. Uh, once you fill the, the input hatch with water, it fills up the thing. Now, there is some weirdness, the glass rendering kind of thing, but it is, it looks like it has formed okay all right so in order to get bacteria we need that we do need an 11 i think we can probably just do 11. um now we need this divert thing which i remember being like really kind of confusing it's this radio hatch over here Alright, so this, last time I used this, this button was not here. I'm assuming that can, means I can tell it to, like, keep a certain amount. Let's get to this. This is, this is going to take some trial and error. I kind of have an idea of what we need to do, but... I don't know how quickly I'm going to get this work. And I figured that's why we should just try a very easy recipe. This bacteria. And see if we can get it working that way. Now you have to feed it like radioactive. Is there a... I think, I think it was like rods, I want to say. Or bolts, or I really don't remember what it was. Um, uranium rods. All right, I was right. <laughs> I don't know if 235. I have it as a recipe. Might as well try. Also, I already forgot what I needed to throw that in. Uh, so for the bacteria, we need 83. I have a feeling that maybe this is, maybe that's it. I don't know. All right. Well, that sound is absolutely god awful. <laughs> uh, Sievert 15. We're obviously like way higher than we need. Oh my goodness, that sound. Who came up with that sound? That is a big old nope. Might have to go on there. Um, what I was trying to say is... Oh, we need 83. What did we get up to? 15. All right, so there's the, yeah, not, I don't really know what that shutter thing is, but uh, we got, we got our 92. Also, that didn't muffle that thing, did it? 
Maybe that will. Alright, there we go. Or is it because it's running out? No, alright, that turned that sound off. Holy cow, that was that was something. Uh so we do our binny bacteria, we got our distilled water, we have an eleven. Uh, I think this goes here. Yes. All right. So there we go. We can see it changed the fluid. So I think if I throw this biochaff in here, it's going to produce bacteria in the output hatch. I could be wrong. As long as we have enough of this, which we have a little bit of time left. Um, so I'll throw that in there and. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. And so we're producing our bacteria. Uh, well, that isn't a lot at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is a minuscule amount. I was thinking, oh, that will be easier than the other one. But I'm like, well, that produces way more. Does it really only produce that much? Just eight little liters? Oh, apparently I have two of those. Um, all right. We needed the... This is what we needed. Oh, yeah. This one. Man, do I... Okay, that... Well, we got it to work. Um, I do think there is... If I remember, there is... I feel like there was a way to multiply the number, and I can't remember. Like, you can multiply the output. I do remember something boosting it, and I totally don't... I'm going to have to think about that. Yeah, because that's an actually... That is a pretty terrible ratio. Especially if you're, like, Infinity Dust. Infinity Catalyst Dust is getting you eight liters of bacteria um when you could just do it in a regular brewing machine and get way more um all right so i am gonna have to read up on this um i swear there was yeah i swear there was like a multiplier way to do that on the thing but all right we did get the bio hatch up and running at least so we'll check it out a bit more next episode anyway that's gonna be for today so thanks for watching and have a good one